uh, Adriana for the Child Advocacy New Zealand into the room. Tēnā koe Adriana, thank you for coming before us again. Um, we appreciate you being here. Um, we have you for 10 minutes. Please take your submission as being read. You'll know that we will have questions for you. So um, if you'd like to leave some time for that, we'd appreciate it. But uh, uh, tēnā koe, we are in your hands. Thank you. Kia ora and thank you for allowing me, to, uh, giving me the opportunity to speak with you today. Now, I, as I, um, as you have stated that uh, my submission has been read, already read, then I think it's important that I just alert you to the specific sections that are of most importance in my submission because I don't want to have to reread all, all of it. So Perfect. basically... Page two, how does the bill cause more concern? Um, page three, my recommendations and final thoughts. Um, and then page four, sections that cause me concern. And page, that's page five. Um, and page eight, my concern, uh, and page eight, which is my summary. So basically, I oppose the bill uh, because it um, appears to go against um, what you're trying to um, what you're trying to um, get with the Oranga Tamariki, the oversight bill, because you're trying to make Tamariki more accountable, but from what I see in this act, the Oranga Tamariki um, Amendment Act bill, it's actually giving more power to Oranga Tamariki um, rather than taking away power, you know, monitoring, you know, managing them, controlling them. And um, so I've outlined that in my submissions and what I want to ask you all is who wrote the oversight of Oranga Tamariki bill itself and also and the second question is who wrote the uh, this bill would I be able to um, uh, get an answer to that please who who wrote it so, um, Adriana, one of the things about submitting is that we ask the questions of you. <laughs> what, we okay. would, what we do know, however, is that um, it's uh, based on policy and then it's written by a number of officials. So it's okay. based on government policy and then it comes to officials to write. So we wouldn't know exactly okay. who is drafted. Okay, but it, because, yeah, it's really important that you ask that question because it appears that they're not communicating with each other because it is going against each other. So basically, um, how does the bill cause more concern so that those people who haven't read my um, submission actually um, understand why I'm concerned about it? It widens the children, um, widens the... Oh, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, it gives Orang Tamariki uh, more jurisdiction to intervene um, to children in need of assistance and those with concerns about safety or well-being. So basically because they change the terminology and they get the de definition of, um, using the definition of um, children in, in need of assistance, that they can intervene with those children, then it widens the number of children that they can access um, to get access to. Um, the bill does not include definitions giving social workers and family court judges the power to use their definite definitions. So basically it leaves um, it up to the discretion of the social workers and the um, judges. And they have no clear definitions of those terms, rendering the terms to be 
at the discretion of the Orang Tamariki, which is the same. So it looks like I haven't really looked at, read, read my, um, done a good edit of my um, submission. So you have to read through that, read past it. But so um, it gives the family court judge the power to make permanent custody and guardianship orders based on a report from Orang Tamariki social workers. And already we have problems with those social worker reports because they're full of inaccuracies. Um, and, you know, how judges, you know, we all tend to um, err on the side of professionals rather than the people. So basically, judges are guided more by professionals, which happen to be social workers. And, you know, the social workers have problems with their writing reports um, and checking for accuracy. Um, and the family court judge can only grant parent access under S110AA if the chief executive is appointed the sole guardian, not as an additional guardian. It removes the need to assess the safety and suitability of care providers. So I've given an explanation as to what um, the specific acts, parts of the acts that concern me are. I just started off with those acts there. I didn't go through the whole bowl, but what I'm alerting you to is that you need to go through the whole bowl and speak to those people. They will know. Anyway, my recommendations, Oranga Tamariki as it stands now, does not need more power as they are abusing power they do have now. So, you know, Oranga Tamariki is a bad employer. They have created toxic workplace sites that promote bad practices. They have a culture of covering up their mistakes, making it extremely difficult to learn from their mistakes. All organisations need good employers who provide a supportive work environment whereby all staff are supported to do best practices so that they can deliver excellent customer service with maximum return and minimal costs. Adriana. Uh, Adriana, we do have that in, in writing. So okay, I, yes. I was wondering, um, there is um, a question from Anahela. So uh, we've only got a couple of minutes. Okay, so be really useful. Thank you. Yes. Oh, kia ora, Adriana. It's been a while since I've last spoken with you. I'm just, yes. uh, I'm just keen, keen, curious to know, have you worked with whether um, where, where a subsequent child has been removed from their care? Uh, if you can talk about your experience... Yes, I have worked with Fano um, who've had the. I actually have worked with many Fano who have, have had their children removed. And the problem that I find is it's their um, bad practices that's of concern. And I've just recently had a response from the Orang Tamariki OIA release to show me that over the since 2017, they've had the same 20 high issues repeatedly. Over the last, uh, since 2017 to 2022, I think you've been shared that information. I certainly hope you have, because um, the complaints have gone up and the complaints to the CE panel have gone down. And you've got to ask yourself the question why, and also Afano don't have the resources or ability to make complaints. So, you know, there's a whole lot of information I've um, shared with people um, by asking questions, and I don't know why the um, independent monitor monitoring team, Orang Tamariki Ombudsman Children's Commissioner, haven't actually looked at us for that data. You know, that's the uh, important, if you want to monitor something, you, sh you should be doing that. They've done all the reports, I don't know what, what they're doing with it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Why so have they asked the questions that I've asked? Yeah. So, I would be happy to be part of a team that goes in to do an audit on ordering a tamariki. I, I'll tell you, I, I, I would make a better job, honestly, by asking thank questions. Thank you, Diana. I'm just, I'm just, I think you're probably talking about the oversight. Uh, this is about the. Um, oh, this is part of a team. This is part yeah, of a team. Yeah, Don't you yeah. worry. So thank you. That's why I was keen to hear about your experience uh, working with Fano, who have gone through uh, yeah, significant harm because, because they can't fix up thank their you. mistakes and they're not willing to acknowledge it and they're not willing to face it. They'd rather cover it up. And that's historically, you know, that's a problem. 
Adri yeah, Adriana, thank you. thank you for your submission. We're now at time. Uh, if there are further questions, um, we'll put them, have them put in writing to you. Um, yes, please do. And I'll yeah. pass you all the information I get out of my questions I ask for on Tamariki because it's important that you do. Thank you. You have a good day and appreciate your submission. Thank you. Mm -hmm.